We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Adama Kane, who is from Joko Sante in Senegal. Uh, Mr. Kane, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, Joko Sante. What does it do and what is it all about? Okay, so uh, thank you. Uh, I'm going to explain the name Joko Sante. Uh, Joko Sante is a combination of uh, two words. Joko Lante, that means in Wolof, the main Senegalese language, give and receive. And Sante, that means in French, health. So, okay. And what projects have you uh, come with here at, uh, to ITU Telecom World? Okay, so I'm here to, so to show uh, Joko Sante. So, uh, so we have uh, seen that in Senegal, uh, 52 to 72% of the family's expenses in health are expenses in medicines. But sometimes people, they keep their medicines at home till last it. And so it is a loss of revenue because this medicine could be used by the neighbors or by the, the family. And then we have imagined a solution uh, that people can use. So it's a software, a web-based solution. And people, so if they have unused medicine at home, they just give it to the medical center affiliated to Joko Sante, and then they gain points. So these points can be accumulated, accumulated and after, if they have a new prescription, instead of buying with money, so they just buy it with their points. Great. And uh, is that up and running at the moment? Are people using it? Yes. Uh, so it's running since uh, February. To, uh, and, uh, and, and we have many members uh, and people. Uh, uh, so, so, so we have about uh, uh, five, 580 members in Senegal, meaning that in, in, in this small co 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 community, we have at least one member per family. And our goal is now rich because, so our goal was to have, instead of having a family first aid box, to have a community first aid box. What about the pharmacies? How have the pharmacies reacted to this? Yeah, so to the private pharmacies, they are working with us because uh, I, I must explain something. So in Africa, so as you know, many people don't have uh, any medicine at home, so the poor people. And then, so how we are dealing with that is, uh, so their prescriptions are funded by the private sector under the CSR activities. And, and the private sector is very interesting in our solution because uh, every donation they made, they make is advertised to, to, to the member. For instance, if a member has his prescription paid by uh, a big company, so there is an automatic text message telling him that your prescription has been paid by this private company. And why have you come here to ITU Telecom World 2015? What's been the value for you of attending this event? Okay, so I must say that, uh, as I told you, so the project is very uh, successful in Senegal, and I am accompanied by uh, a big uh, private uh, company in Senegal, Sonatel, and Sonatel has invited me here. So they have paid my trip, and I'm in the Senegal pavilion. So it's, for me, it is a great opportunity because so in, uh, I, I have met many African countries. Till now, I have six African countries that are expressed their interest to, to my solution. And it's a, it just great for me. And what do you think the government and industry can do to promote uh, digital entrepreneurship and, uh, and, and really foster the growth of SMEs? Okay, so I will just take an example because uh, I was in uh, Marrakesh in Morocco uh, th th three days ago and there is a bank, BMC Bank, so they have um, put an award and I won it. So it is about uh, $150,000. So I think that this is the best way to promote the so social entrepreneurship. So the private sector and the government, so they have to accompany, the, they have to promote so the, the, the social entrepreneur in Africa. That's my feeling. Well, we wish you the very best with your project and thank you very much for being in the studio with us today. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you.